No, you see the thing is, what what M Tash said said about PGR being not that the other point marketing that that part is right, just that bit is right because if you notice, when a game is about to launch, when a game is about to launch, they would usually build up hype and market. Let let's say let's take Reverse nineteen ninety nine for example. That that's the most recent news that's gonna be launched. They always build up hype and then. PGR, they didn't do much of that. That's because that they were new to all this. Like Global was their first project to push outside of Asia, like to the rest of the world. So they already, the, the boat has already sailed for that. When your game has already launched, you already missed like the opportunity to keep building hype for the game, like to, to get the word out for people to know what PGR is. That, that ship has already sailed. So we already, that's a huge regret for PGR, I feel. And now that the game is already launched, it's like, oh yeah, it exists. <laughs> EGR exists. But if you want to like get people to join, it's already an ongoing game. So if you're new and you join in, you have imagine like you have to grind all of these. So PGR is in a weird spot right now for an existing game. They already missed the opportunity when it was launching. Wuthering is, I mean, they already knew what to do with Wuthering. Wuthering is doing exactly what uh, a launching game is doing. Drip feed, marketing, trying to push the game, get people to know about the game. Uh, for PGR, it's like, uh, it's just us right now. It's just us, the existing player right now. It's kind of hard to get new blood into PGR. Imagine if all the existing players just stop playing PGR. I think it's going to be really bad. The launch drama, I'll tell you more about what exactly happened in the launch drama. That one dollar? One dollar drama? Do you know what the full story is? Have I ever told you before like what exactly happened that led to the one dollar drama? The main the what people thought was Altera said it's just one dollar difference to somebody. He just said it's just a dollar difference because somebody was bitching about the prices price difference between I don't know what what it is but come on, it's just one dollar. So he said it as a fact, it's like, it's just one dollar? Somebody screenshot that, just that part, and send it all over the place to Reddit, to 4chan, saying like, oh, PGR mods are like making fun of one dollar, no big deal. And then it just blew up from there. You know how, you know how things get blown up out of, out of proportion. Like, oh my god, PGR mod said this, I can't believe my ears. I mean, if you ask me, right? I'm still gonna say it, it's just a fucking dollar, man. Even if one dollar is really, uh... Like, one USD is really huge in your exchange rate. At least have some self-aware to think that a dollar is still a dollar. At least have some self-awareness. Like, nobody's making fun of your country, but fuck, it's just one dollar. <laughs> so it blew out of proportion. And that's how it, the one dollar incident came out. Sometimes you just need to, like, uh, remind yourself where... The community you're in doesn't represent the general consensus. And one thing I learned is that the community you're in also factors greatly in how you think about things. It's like maybe you... It's like maybe as a person, you never really cared about this character, for example. Like let's say I don't really care about uncle. And then people around you just keep saying, Oh my god, uncle is so bad. Uncle is so weak. Kuro like drop the ball again and then it'll you know negativity will just spread and it'll it'll subconsciously make you believe the same you're like oh yeah actually uncle is so bad you know it's need to be aware of these well i mean there's first of all there is nothing wrong with being f2p but there is definitely something wrong if you don't be you don't have self-awareness like if I'm, some games I play that I don't really talk about, I'm F2P there. But if you decide to be play F2P, you should already be expecting what you're getting yourself into. 
But then people act like they're they need to have like five star services. Yeah, exactly. That's that's one of the most common exhibits. They have this weird complex about trying to beat whales or trying to show that they never put a dollar into the company. But if you ask me, if you ask me, like, as a whale, I don't really care about what they do, but they seem to care about what I think, <laughs> like, I care what they do. I don't care! Just play the game. Like, one of the craziest things I heard is, if a game is dying, they will say, Oh, the whales need us F2Ps to be in a game so that they feel better about themselves, so they can flex on. Like, what the fuck? Why would I play this game so that I can find F2Ps to flex on? That's crazy, man. That's a bit sad. That's actually very sad. I know some whales talk like that, though. I hate those as well. I really hate people who spend. And they just gotta keep talking about how much they spend and shit. I also hate those kind of people. It's actually those kind of whales that make people look bad. Make everyone else look bad. And that... That would justify the the those toxic F2P's uh, behavior, because also because of those toxic whales who, who wouldn't even shut up about what how much they spend or what they're gonna spend. Like they need the validation. Yeah, snobs are everywhere. Both sides are not innocent. You have your toxic F2P, and then you have your toxic whales that enable the toxic F2P's like justify the toxic F2P's behavior. It's like the it's like the F2P's origin story of being a toxic F2P villain, man. One day a whale just comes and flex on them like, hey you're a shitty F2P, like, oh you're so poor. <laughs> it's like their origin story, villain story. And then from there that day on they just fucking hated whales forever. Goddamn whales, I'll never forgive the whales. Do I follow a set of principles when whaling? No, it's always it has always been about myself it would be pretty weird if you're if you're spending for any other reason apart from just self-indulgence like i i spend is because i just like the character i just like having the character max not because of anything else people who will to flex are very pathetic uh, yeah they're very pathetic they're, that's they're like the lowest of the low you heard me about to start a war against all other whales all the whales that that roll just to flex, I think they're the most one-dimensional player in existence. Like your whole identity is just to spend. <laughs>